ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is the day. As you guys know, I picked up the new 2023 Outlander, and this thing is absolutely sick. Probably one of the fastest four-wheelers I've ever rode. And today, we're going to see if this bad boy can hit 100 miles an hour. The fastest we've been on it already is 77 miles an hour, but we just keep running out of room. So we're going to have to take this thing out to the country, out to the new property, and really stretch it out. But before we go and do that, I want to whip out the four-door X3. I want to see if the X3, one of the fastest side-by-sides on the market, I want to see how this thing compares. I don't know if this four-door is quicker than the X3. With the X3 being a four-door, it is a little bit on the slower side, but it is still a 200 horsepower side-by-side. -side. While this thing's making probably 91 horsepower, completely bone stock. We have not done anything to it yet, but we are about to, so I want to go ahead and do this and see how they stack up. So let's slap on the helmets. Oh, this is going to be fun. Every time I hop on this thing, I just have a ball of fun. We have broke one hour. We got one hour on the dash. We're going to let these machines warm up a little bit. I'm going to go and throw this thing in spot sport mode this thing is stupid fast and honestly just too much fun i almost wish i had two of these one for mudding and one just to rip on but we're really not going to do too much riding around the house because we're going to go out to the new property and trail ride today and maybe hit some hill climbs and uh see what the top speed on this thing is but we're gonna go ahead and get her warm so we can do our drag race here oh my gosh it's so wet it's been raining like non-stop so hopefully the roads are dry when we go to race Woo! <laughs> whoop scraped it that is so much power, bro. It's so smooth though. Like the power is so, so smooth. Oh yeah? That thing's quick too. But it don't pop wheelies. Woo! Woo -hoo! Woo, baby! Too much, oh my God. Look at the lines it just left. It didn't pop up, it spun out. Well, that's what I'm saying. It just spun out on the pavement. Left lines, look at that, in the driveway. Awesome. Where is Christian going? You don't want the smoke, boy. We should race on the grass and the road. We could. See which one hooks better. These bikes should be warm enough, so uh, we're gonna run a drag real quick. You going down, buddy? Put in the comments, what's gonna win it? I don't know, what do you think's gonna win it? I think I'm gonna get you off the line. All right, we'll try it. You ready? Everyone put it in the comments, X3 or Outlander. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Oh my, what? Woo! I'm doing 60 already, 66, 70. Woo, that is quick. You don't realize how fast you're going in that. Look, it felt fast. This little thing is like, oh, you know, it, it's scary, but that is so smooth. That is fast. I was not expecting that outcome. I mean, he straight smoked me. You guys will run it again. All right, you ready? One, two, three. I jumped it. See how long it takes to come back. 40, 50, coming back. 60. Oh my gosh. Oh, buddy, he's still in the throttle. I wasn't expecting the X3 to be that quick. My goodness, man. Woo! I wasn't expecting you to like get that good of a gap on me. It's an X3, I get it. 200 horsepower and 1,800 pounds. But it's crazy because that's 1,800 pounds. This is still like pushing almost 1,000. That is crazy. Yeah, like it's probably 850 to 1,000 pounds. It's in that ballpark. No, that's probably like 2,200 because it's a four-seater. The two-seaters are 1,800. A two-seater would leave a bigger gap. Oh, yeah. Let's pass them. <laughs> 62. Oh, my gosh, we're cooking. See how fast we get. 71, 74, 75. 76. Holy crap, boys. I don't know what it's going to be like doing 100. 100 on this thing's going to be rowdy. <laughs> I love it. Oh, we're getting off the road. That is insane, man. The X3 is that quick, dude. I got to take it for a pull. Hop in the passenger seat. I just want to feel one four-wheel drive pull after coming off the four-wheeler. We've been what? This one topped out at 91. So this machine tops out at 91. We found that out down at the new property, which we're about to go to. This thing's fun, dude. For a four-seater, it's a lot of fun. Like, you would never think something this big is that capable. Oh, yeah. All right. From zero. Stop it. 10, 14, 20, 30. It feels so smooth. 50, 60, 70. Woo! 80. Brakes were great. <laughs> Those brakes are sick. I just locked it down. Yeah, it's crazy because this is so much smoother than being on a four wheeler. Like the power, like look at this ditch. Boop. Wow. You don't even feel it, bro. <laughs> it's too smooth, bro. 
Oh. All right, let's get out of here before the cops come out. We're too close to the city. Cops are definitely going to be freaking swarming us in about 20. All right, guys, we got this thing in the garage, and it is time to roll out. We're going to throw the foiler on the trailer, get it to the new property, and we're going to hit some trails. All right, guys, we made it out here to the new property. And let me just go ahead and say, this place looks totally different. Check it out. The corn is coming up. That corn is getting tall and getting tall quick. My sunflower field down here, it's coming out pretty nicely. That stuff's getting pretty tall, especially back down that way. But up here by the garage, it's not growing quite as quick. But you guys aren't here for a property update. You guys are here to see this fuller do 100 miles an hour. So we're gonna go ahead, get this bad mamma jamma off the trailer and see if we can hit it. And now it's time to go rip and hit the trail, son. Oh, sport mode. Got to throw in sport mode. <laughs> I'm kind of curious. What can we hit on the driveway coming in? Let's run down here to the end, and we're just going to throttle down and see what we get to on the road right here. I don't think we can do 100 on this road, though. All right, let's see it. Let's hit it. I don't think we're going to hit 100 here, but we're going to give it a run. 50, 60. Oh, my gosh. We're cooking. Throttle down. 67. 70, the wind's blowing me all over the place. 76, 77, 79. Woo! Didn't go over 80, but it was right there. 79, we're gonna have to get out on the big road. That's a hell of a driveway. Yeah, yeah 80 mile an hour, or 79. No way. Yeah. 79? Yeah, I'm a, little, I'm a little scared it might have governed out right there. So we're going to take it to the big road. Dude, the wind was blowing me all over the place, I felt like. Your eyes are watering. Oh, yeah. We're going to go hit some trails, though. This bike, I've actually never put it in the woods. So it'll be interesting to see how it does. This thing's going to be a lot of bike in the trails. Too bad it's not snorkeled yet. We can't hit the pond. Woo! It's sliding, bro. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Man, this thing's gonna be rowdy. Front tires have no traction. It's just spinning, dude. Now it's been raining for two days straight, so uh, these trails are a little scuffed. It's gonna be very, very slick. But we're gonna go through on the backside of my property and get to a bigger road. Kind of a little adventure going on. We gotta go through the neighbor's property. Do have permission. But it's gonna be quite the adventure to get to the road on the far side of the property. Does the creek have water in it? Yeah, there's water in the creek. That was literally dry yesterday. Or not yesterday, but the day before the rain. Oh my gosh, it's so slick. I'm telling you, I think I could haul faster on the Honda. I'm not so nervous about it sliding out. Yeah, we come up on a down tree. We're a little screwed there, bud. We're gonna run all the way through my property and try to get out to the main roads. And we can get out to the main roads over there and really open this thing up. We should be able to see what its top speed is. The goal is to get this thing to hit 100 miles an hour. Will it do that factory? I don't know. I'm sure it's governored at some speed, but I'm not exactly sure yet. So we might have to get this thing tuned, but we gonna try. Dude, this trail's clapped. There's a tree down. Guess we gonna go around this way. Let's just break the new four-wheeler in right. One hour on it. Let's just turn it into a bulldozer. Oh my god. This thing would drift like a madman in the right trails. But this bike does have Fox shocks, so it's pretty smooth. Big hill run. Throw her in four-wheel. Yeah, I can feel that four-wheel drive grabbing now. Dang, you get up and moving quick. It's like a freaking 450 dirt bike, dude. Yeah, but we gotta come and wear these trails in. Just ride the crap out of them. It's gonna be the only way to get them smooth. This bike is a lot of bike. It is nuts, dude. Woo! Do you really need a 1000? Not really, but it is nice to have. So scared of hitting a tree on it. I don't know why. Man, it's still so crazy. I've had this property for six months and I'm still just blown away at being able to call all this property mine, man. Absolutely crazy. So freaking thankful, man. But there is actually a big creek on the back side of my property that all the little creeks that run through my property go to. And I've been trying to get permission to be able to ride over there and I think I may or may not have secured a place. If I can actually secure somewhere with this creek front, dude, I'm talking about the best fishing, bro. Me and Bree, we've been literally bow fishing this creek from like the public bridges. Her family actually has a piece of property on the creek and we've been fishing over there dude it's just it's been so much fun so i know if we can just get permission down that way it's deeper water than up by her place the fishing would be amazing so that's something i've been working on behind the scenes we also have been working on some merchandise and bp clips channel i have bp clips linked down in the description if you guys want to go subscribe to that channel bree's been running it i think it's got like 30k as i'm filming this maybe like 29 and a half thousand subs hopefully we can get that joker up to 100k and maybe we'll give away some merchandise to people that are subscribed subscribe to it once we get merchandise up and running but now i kind of don't know exactly where we are at we have gotten off my trails and onto my neighbors who just gave me permission i 
think we're up above the creeks and should hop down and cross the creeks. Oh, yeah, up in here. This is a super cool area because you can see the creek bottom all the way down through. It looks like you're in the mountains. That is so badass. Here's one of the creeks. But well, the creek I'm talking about is a lot bigger than these creeks. I'm talking like three, four foot of water. Dude, the creek riding, bro. I'm talking that place has got five, six foot deep sections. Go down there and freaking ride up and down the creek, dude. That would be nuts. If I'm thinking right, this would actually put us back on the gas line. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're right, we're right. So the goal is to get to the big road so we can really stretch this four-wheeler out. This is a lot of bikes. I think there's a ride up here somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go, here we go. This should put us on a road. This is real pretty back in here, dude. Oh, there's an old house site. Dude, we might have to do that. Check out that abandoned house site one day. That's an old house. Look at all the trees that's grown up around it. But most of these cedar trees have already died. They are so old. That's nuts. We might have to check that out one day. This road right here does go out to the road. I do know that one. See if we can get out here. Yep, yep, yep. That looks like the road. I don't know if this road's gonna be straight enough. Yeah, I think it's curvy down that way. Let's ride up this way. Woo! Oh, I know what road we can go to. Oh, yeah, I got it, boys. I know exactly where we're going. It's right up here on the left, I believe. All right, yeah, this road, we should be able to stretch it out. Yeah, this road's pretty, pretty long. I'm just worried about that one turn. We should probably come around that turn and already be running like 50 or 60. I'm gonna turn down my power steering. High speed and a ton of power steering don't go together. Yeah, so we gotta come around this and then hit it. But we should be able to come around this moving pretty quick. Yeah, I'm hoping this is plenty of room or we're gonna have to go out to a busy road. All right. All right, let's send it. 30, 40, 50. Might have to slow up for this turn. 60. Now right, let's see if we can do this turn. 62. We're gonna run out of room big time. 72, 76, 77, 78. Dude, I'm right there, bro. Right there at the 80 mile an hour mark and can't get by it. We're gonna have to find more road. Dang it. All right, let's go down this way. That's gonna be the problem. Getting enough room to figure out exactly how high this thing takes to it to top out at. You're like zero to 60 is pretty quick. Well, then when we start climbing through 70, it's not quite as fast. Sending it. 67. Oh, I'm getting sketched. 76, that road's getting bumpy. Yeah, breaking 80 is gonna be the struggle, especially with these high winds trying to blow me around. I was supposed to take a left back there, but I wanna look at the creek. This is the big creek I was talking about. With all this rain, I'm sure it's up. But you can come here and do, this just loaded with fish. What we got? Oh yeah, water clarity? Zero. We've shot quite a few fish off this bridge. We probably shot a couple gar, a couple big carp. This is a pretty good section of creek right here. So go ahead, turn it around. Check this side of the bridge out. Shallower water over here, but I don't think we've seen any fish off this side. Yeah, dude, it's just green. It is straight up, just so green. Woo! Oh, a little scrapey poo. <laughs> Oh, me. I'm glad this thing's got a wheelie bar on it. Oh, that's the road I'm trying to get to right there. Ah, we're not going to cut across that guy's field. Gots to stay respectful, my dudes. Luckily, we got this road right here. Should put us on the main road. See, the issue is this bike could be governored. I've heard it's governored at 88. To me, it's looking like 79-ish, but I'm not exactly sure. It's a pretty good stretch of road, but it's not going to be long enough to break 80. I know there's a straighter portion down here. I don't know. That's 60. That last like 20 is hard to get to, man. Oh, let's hit it. See if we got it here. Oh, man, it's so sketchy. 72, 75. I'm drifting. 77, 78. Come on. That's, it's governor. It's governor. It's got to be. That's got to be the governor. We're going to have to fix that. If we started going downhill, it'd definitely go faster. It would override the governor by a mile an hour. So that's how we got 79 earlier. Breaking 100 on this thing's going to be nerve wracking. I know. Here comes a big straightaway. All right, boys. Let's hit it. Oh, yeah. So scary, bro. So scary. 77, 78, 79. Got to slow down. Let's hit it again. What we got? 79. That's it. 79. Top down. 79 miles an hour. There you go, folks. Not quite as fast as I was hoping, man. But if we tune it, this bike will definitely pick it up faster. All we got to do is tune it, get rid of the governor, and we should be able to break 100. Let's turn this bad boy around. Woo! Shoo! Yeah, we're in 
get no faster. But dude, it climbs to 70 like a freaking animal. Dang, we were freaking bulling right there. Sit down. That's so nerve wracking, bro. Should have another straightaway, yeah? We're bulling. We're bulling. We're nervous. 75, 76, 77, 78. Yeah. All right. 79 miles an hour, governor. That's crazy though. Like I'm surprised, like even for a factory four-wheeler, can am allowing it to do 79 miles an hour? I know with Polaris on their high lifters, they literally governor them bikes at like 45 miles an hour. But dude, I'm telling you, you don't need to go any faster than 79 on this. We'll just call it 80, 80 miles an hour, man. But I'm telling you, we will be tuning it. We will be doing the skin. We have to get it over hundred miles an hour. If we can get this bike to hundred miles an hour, I'll quit and I'll never do it again. But until then, we're trying it. Look at the road still kind of wet. Let's just hit it from a dig, see how hard she spins. Oh my gosh, 450. Oh, just spinning. There it is. It caught up. Oh yeah. That's power right there, son. But 91 horsepower and a 900 pound bike. Pretty nuts. That's my max speed. I can't believe it says that. Max speed, 78 miles an hour. But the dash did say 79. So that must be the governor. And although it was doing 79, it couldn't register it was doing that. So I got to take this thing to get tuned. And we're definitely going to be trying to hit 100 miles an hour. I mean, we got to make it. How nuts would that be? I mean, it's got all the power in the world. Oh, yeah. Such a tank. So fast. There's 60. That, like literally they get to 70 it's nothing so i wonder if, if we took the governor off if it would just blow right past 70 like it is right now 98 i want to go no higher really 98 bro i was worried about you yeah i was sitting here like do i need to go walk through the trails now <laughs> and look for them yeah i hit the road on the back side and circled makes sense dude can you believe that 98 no, i'm just playing no you hit 100 102 no yeah. way i was just about to say it looks like we need to tune it to crack that 100 but that's crazy no, it's governed. Okay. <laughs> Stop <laughs> with me, bro. What is it? 79. Ah. I hit 79 right here, though. Then I got on the big road. Governor at 79. 79. So I'm we need it tuned. I was bullin'. It was nuts. Yeah, we're getting it tuned. We get it tuned. Hopefully, it'll hit 100 miles an hour. After the tune, if it doesn't hit 100 miles an hour, we'll build a slingshot. I don't know. We'll do something. <laughs> Turbo it? Turbo it. How crazy. That'd be too gnarly. That'd be too much power. <laughs> but it pulls like a train up to about 70, and it slows up, and it hits 75, like, eh, 77, eh, and it's just 79, it's the top. Ugh. It's governor at 78, though. I literally hit 79. It says my max speed 78. That's bull crap. Do you think by just taking the governor off that it would keep pulling? I think it would. Without tuning it, just taking the governor off. I mean, if you're tuning it, it's taking the governor off. Yeah, yeah. So. We got a crap load of parts for the bike build, but I want to see what it would do stop. 79 miles an hour stock. Pretty impressive. XXC Outlander. Now, at 79 miles an hour, is it stable? Oh, it's scary as <laughs> <laughs> So why would you want to go faster? It's pretty bad. But we got to hit 100. I told myself I wanted to make it do 100. So we're going to make it do 100. It's not quite as fast as the X3, but you put any other fuller up against it, 100% will beat it. I guarantee it. If anybody wants to call that out, let's do it. Any other stock fuller, stock v stock, let's run it. This is the fastest four-wheeler on the market. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, Raptor 700. No, nah, not, not a chance. What's another fast four-wheeler? I mean, everyone always talks about the 700s. Yeah. Banshees. Banshees are pretty gnarly. I've heard Banshees are gnarly. You I've seen some gnarly ones. <laughs> Maybe buy a Banshee. Put it up against it. Pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure that I'd, I'd wax it. You think so? Have to. Have to. It's so quick. Well, now that we got that out of the way, 79 miles an hour. It is governor. Let me show you guys around the property real quick. Couple plans. Plans with the four wheeler. Just you know, a little little podcast sesh. Just you know, talking, talking. Dub season's gonna be lit. That's coming up great. Those sunflowers are coming up great. Those sunflowers are coming up great. I gotta mow the yard. Haven't done that in a while. My ducks. Let's go see if we can't find those. I guess they went and hid from me. The pond is getting low on water. It's drying up sadly it's about oh gosh there they are hey buds Dwayne buddy so we got Dwayne Aflac they're girlfriends and then we got three mallards one mallard freaking flew away apparently we still got the very pretty mallard that's good we got one ugly one and the other one's like eh Dwayne has been their leader bro I'm telling you Dwayne just like even the wild ducks Dwayne's just been the straight up leader of them the black duck black Aflac he actually uh I think Dwayne and Aflac ganged up on him bro I don't know there's two girlfriends three three male ducks. I think that guy got the short end of the stick because he disappeared on me. The swamp, 
dude just wait till we get this thing snorkeled oh my gosh it's gonna be so much fun i almost have all the parts to turn this into the baddest mud bike i'm just waiting on a few more things and this thing will be a full out mud bike i wish we had a track built out here already all the grass has died because it's so hot but this is basically going to turn into a big four-wheeler track all right here which should be pretty freaking lit but i'm gonna go check out here and check this muddy bottom now that the corn is like up i'm not afraid like running any over so let's go check it out looks like the farmer just quit right here this stuff is nasty 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 I guess that he didn't even want to plant this dude like this is literally just a big mud hole i knew that when i bought the property that this was just going to be a big mud hole it was so wet but it's been dry for weeks and weeks and then literally the last two days we got rain so it ain't really too bad yet but we're definitely gonna turn this into a mud hole the next big rain we get so the problem is all my mud holes like the swamp the pond all that good stuff it's too deep for stock bikes and so i don't have nothing i can play in with this man it's kind of a debbie downer everything just holds water there's no like actual mud mud so we're gonna have to get that taken care of Woo! oh my gosh this thing's nuts we're gonna put her on the trailer though oh we are coming in hot well 79 miles an hour we got that one figured out what do you guys want to see on the channel next like we're gonna do the build series on this thing but i figured like we might as well buy another unit like we need to we need to do something different and i don't know what it is we definitely need to get brie a four-wheeler at some point and no one tell her i said that listen here man i've what? been here longer than brie oh yeah oh yeah i want a four-wheeler <laughs> yeah, i don't know bud come on man i don't know bud our relationship has developed a lot longer are you serious you right now dude? i'm sorry brie but hey man you can put on the high heels <laughs> <laughs> but this thing is an absolute i mean 79 miles an hour dude on a four-wheeler that's nuts but well, we're gonna try to make it hit 100 this thing's gonna be one badass mudding four-wheeler once we put all the stuff on it i got new wheels for it all the rjwc stuff hopefully we're gonna get some naders on it can -Am factory snorkel i gotta figure out something about a radiator relocate and then we do need to put a winch on it rear bumper tiger tail i think that'd probably sum it up that's quite a bit of stuff though but we're gonna stick to the factory colors because they are pretty sweet and hopefully anything red that i get actually matches this like freaking can-am orange red it's very orangey in person which sucks but if you guys enjoyed today's video please smash that thumbs up button we got big things coming soon i just wanted to make a riding video before we turn this thing into a mudding monster really just see what it's capable of in terms of top end speed but let's go ahead close this thing off if you guys would hit the thumbs up button like and subscribe big thank you to everybody that supports us that lets us do the things we do so if you guys would hit the thumbs up like and subscribe we'll catch you on the next one an excellent.